Hey, thank you for joining us. I'm Jake, this is Mike, and we'd like to talk to you about how you can get the best cup of coffee at home. So some of the things that you can control, water, third wave water. We talk about it, we write about it, check out the podcast for more. The second thing that you can control at home is the grind. Mikey, why is the grind so important? The grind makes probably the biggest difference um, when it comes to brewing a good cup, and here's why. When you break down a bean, you want to break down so that the particles are even and roughly the same size. So that when you brew, right, when you have your water brewing in that, it's extracting. And so when you have really tiny particles, it might over extract those while you have large particles that are being under extracted. So if you can get all the particles, your grind to be the same size, then realistically, if you dial in that brew, you're not going to get any funky flavors. You're not going to get any, right. any under extraction. You're not going to get any over extraction. So the key is breaking up the bean as evenly as possible. And you're going to get a more consistent cup. So the same cup of coffee that you had Monday morning, you can then enjoy again on Tuesday morning. Two different types of grinders um, and two different methods for grinding. One is kind of what we call a blade grinder, which is this guy. The, the whirly blade. The whirly blade. Basically, it's got some blades in there that spin at high RPM and demolish your beans. And some of you might be using a blender like a Vitamix or a Ninja, something along those lines. Same thing. Same it's idea. a blade that is cutting up the beans and you're not going to get a consistent grind from chopping them up. Uh, no matter what you do, you think about it. You take a knife and you... So going up from there, the other style is what they call a burr grinder. Burr. Burrs. Ooh, and even cool just thinking about it. There's flat burrs, there's conical burrs. You don't have to get into that so much. Most will be a conical burr that you're looking at, especially more in the entry level mm -hmm. uh, style like we have here. Basically what a burr is, it's, it's a, a steel kind of cylinder inside another steel, steel uh, housing. And basically there's a tiny gap of millimeters and it spins really fast within that housing and the beans get crushed as they go between those little, uh, that little opening. And that gap is adjustable, is that right, Mike? It is adjustable. Yeah, and that's what's gonna give you a finer grind or a more coarse grind and everything, uh, everything in between. All right, let's get back to our entry level hand grinder, which if you don't wanna spend a lot of money is where you should start. So yes, the trade off with this guy is it's cheap. And this is a burr grinder. So it gives you um, the burr, it gives you a little uh, wheel here that you can turn and, and dial in how fine or, or coarse you want your grind. This guy is made by Steel Coffee, mm -hmm. and I think it ran 30 bucks. Um, and it's a great grinder to have, especially if you're going camping or if you're going over to someone else's house, you want to bring your own coffee. Take it to work. Take it to work, and you want to grind it fresh. This guy is key. Now I grind it fresh. Sorry. It's the only way to go. Yeah. Or the trade off, rather, is cheap but it takes time and you have to put a little muscle into it. You're gonna get a good workout with it. I've timed it on an average grind for maybe like a pour over coffee or your standard middle um, medium style size grind, 90 seconds to two minutes of constant grinding. So if you're making two, three, four cups for friends and family, this isn't gonna be your ideal way to go. But if you're just making your morning brew and you want a little exercise to get you going in the morning Absolutely. as well, that's perfect, but it, it works well. It works wonderfully well. And if you're entry level on a budget, you want the best coffee, and really you're just thinking about yourself, like we are, we're thinking about you, we want you to get the best coffee, this would probably be a good way to go, at least get you into having fresh coffee every morning. They start around 25 bucks and they go up from there. There are some really sweet ones at about $70, $75. Mm, yeah. Very cool. Um, so it's not just like hand grinding is cheap, but it's for the most part across the board cheaper, a cheaper way to get into In, specialty coffee. Into the burr grinder. All right, whirly blade time. Tell me about the whirly blade. Jake. The whirly blade is, a little history is awesome. Blade. I have a lot of history with the whirly blade and you, you might as well. One blade in there, you kind of measure out the coffee here, you dump it in, and then it's this one is designed to where you can pick how much coffee is in there and just set it and forget it. That's not gonna happen. You're gonna end up doing the shake. Because what you're gonna notice is if you have one of these, go grab it, go grab it right now. Push pause, go grab it, put yourself some coffee in there and, and just click the button and leave it. You're gonna end up with big chunks and little 
tiny things. You're gonna end up with the exact thing that Mike was talking about earlier, saying you don't wanna end up with. If this is all you got, I'm not mad at you because I used it for many years to get espresso fine grind. <laughs> this is what you're gonna have to do. You plug it in, you put your beans in there, you, you weigh them out first, you probably wanna scale, but if not, you can always use the handy dandy little measuring, uh, cup. Little measuring cup in there and just wing it. So you're gonna put them in, you're gonna shake it, and then you're gonna check it. And then you'll be like, okay, is that medium? Is that fine? What does medium fine look like? You're going <laughs> half a bean. Okay, so this needs to get going. <laughs> oh, well, I guess I went a little too fine there. And then there's still one big old hunkin' chunk of bean in there. So you're gonna take that bean out, you're gonna throw it away, and you're gonna be like, look, baby, I did such a good job. You turn it upside down. <laughs> you knock it out, and then voila, there's your coffee grind. The, the good thing about it is you can get these anywhere. You can get these at Walmart, you can get these at Target. Your grandma has one of these. I'm gonna tell a quick story. So when I was new into specialty coffee, this was the sign of a true coffee connoisseur. Like you'd go over to somebody's house, they have whole bean coffee, and they're sitting there grinding, you're like, oh man, they must really know what they're talking about because they're using the whirly blade. I know you have a hard time believing that I want you to grind your beans by hand, but I would prefer you to grind your beans by hand because you are gonna have a better coffee experience than if you use the right around 30 bucks to get yeah. a basic one of these. And that's where it's appealing. Uh, but unfortunately, it just doesn't deliver. So if you're really trying to get the best cup, um, and uh, we believe you are, because that's why you're here, you would avoid this. And so as much as it might hurt, this is where we recommend you go. Yep. So moving on, we've got the Bodum. And Jake, this has lived in your house for a little while, so I will look to you to yeah. let us know a little bit it more. It sure about. has. I was going back and forth actually between these two, and this is the Barazza Encore, this is the Bodum. It may have a name, I'm not sure what it is, but you can find it on coffee Amazon. Coffee grinder. Yeah, coffee grinder, about 75. 75 bucks, it's a fantastic grinder. It's got your hopper there to put beans in. Uh, it's the price that drew me to it, and it was well reviewed on Amazon, and I would happily throw my good review on there as well because it's a it's a great grinder. Um, you've got your little measuring cup here. It also has a little lid to keep some of the chaff and the coffee from going everywhere. But what you're going to do is, you know, you measure your beans in here, put your beans in there. It's even got a little guide on here. I don't use the guide; I just weigh it. But um, real men don't use real guides. real men don't use guides. They use scales. That's right, <laughs> and maps. No, wait a minute, and Siri. So then you slide it back in. You can select a timer here, which is a little bit strange um, because they say you want the right, you don't want the, the burr to get too hot. You don't want it heating the beans up. So that's one of the reasons to use a burr grinder. Bigger motor, bigger burrs, less heat. That's important for your beans. It's got more torque so it can turn slower there with more crushing power. Torque. torque. What man doesn't love torque? What girl doesn't love torque? I don't know. But um, on off switch, it's very simple to use. Um, the only drawback I would say from the Bodum, it, it, the only thing that would make me think, well, I kind of wish I would have spent 50 more bucks and got the Barazza, is that it doesn't like naturals. Mm. Naturally processed beans seem what? to be a little bit harder and they kind of get stuck and it stops the burrs from spinning. Locks it up. It locks it up. So oh, one last thing, they do have grind settings. They have grind settings that you can start with. So it's got the French press, it's got the aero press and pour over, and it's got espresso grind settings. So you twist this thing, which is a little bit strange. I don't like twisting it, but you twist it to get to where you wanna be, and it's a good place to start from, mm -hmm. and then you can dial it in based on the bean and the brewing method that you choose. Cause I always feel like I'm gonna rip the hopper off, and I've ripped the hopper off. Clean off. Yeah, just pulled it right off, trying to adjust my grind. 75 bucks, it, it really is, for the money, probably the best burr grinder you can get on Amazon. Moving up a little bit, you get into Barazza. Barazza makes professional um, grade coffee shop grinders and um, they get very expensive. Um, they are someone in the industry that really prides themselves on the quality and um, you can kind of tell just by how heavy this guy is. Um, it's got a good solid motor in it there. It has a good solid motor. So I think some of the key differences, a uh, step up from the bottom, is that it's got more fine uh, adjustments. Mm -hmm. It goes from zero to 40 
They say you can do an espresso fine if you would like. Will wear out your burrs um, a little quicker, but you can do it. And you can go all the way to a real super coarse 40 if you're doing uh, like a cold brew or a French press. You know, you wouldn't go quite that, that coarse, but you, you, it has that ability. The other nice thing about the Barazza is that all the parts can be serviced or replaced. Mm. Mm -hmm. um, I can take this apart and pull the burrs out and ship them to Barazza, or they can ship me replacements. And lastly, with the hopper, it gives you a little. Ooh, I like that. It gives you a little a feedback, little click. so you can click, yeah. and each click is a setting. So there's ten clicks between thirty and forty, and so on. Other than that, it does the same exact thing as the boat. I've never had it lock up. I've put a lot of beans through this. I've done a lot of cold brew, where I've filled this hopper up. Uh, three, four times, run it non-stop. It seems to stay fairly cool. But naturals, no problem with naturals. Not a process. problem with yeah. naturals. We're currently on Amazon, it's running right around 130. I would highly recommend this. If you can afford it, I would say definitely jump jump to the Barazza. It does have a lot more grind settings. I think this only has like 12 or 18 grind settings. Don't get too lost on the grind settings though, because really, you're not gonna be using 40 different grind settings for the most part. Summary of the video is, if you can afford it, go with a burr grinder. That is the key. Um, we like the Barazza, the Bodum's been nice. Uh, avoid the Whirly Blade, but if you have one, you can make it work for you. Some quick tips on how to do that, don't fill it up. Use less in there, and if you have to grind more, do two uh, rounds of grinding. Because if you fill it too much up, the beans at the top will never get down to the blade. So keep that in mind. If you're really on a budget, or you want something that will travel light, go ahead and hit up the, uh, the hand grinder. There's different styles too. But if you have any questions, please let us know in the comment section below, or you can uh, comment on our blog posts that we feature some of the uh, grinders on, or you can DM us on Instagram or Twitter. Now, Jake. Thanks for watching. <clears throat> let me say that with a little authority. Thanks for watching. That's better. See, I can never let my car down because you put this stuff in. Thanks yeah. for watching. Yeah, absolutely. Yep, sorry. Yep, yeah. with.